And he said, listen, I'm going to ask you one question. And the answer to this question will determine whether you achieve every one of these things. And the back of my head, James, I'm thinking, one question? I'm like, really? <clears throat> he said, fire away. So he says, are you interested in achieving these goals and dreams or are you committed? And I was like, interested, committed, like, what is that? So I asked him, Mr. Brown, uh, what's the difference? And he said, if you're interested, you'll keep coming up with stories and excuses and reasons why you can't. You'll keep doing the things that you're doing and you won't do what it takes to change. He said, if you're committed, you'll upgrade your knowledge, you'll upgrade your skills, you'll upgrade your beliefs, and then you will develop habits that are consistent with somebody who can achieve those goals, all of which are doable. So he said, so are you interested, are you committed? And I thought for just a moment, and some I don't know why, but out of my mouth came, I'm committed. And in that second he says, good. And he reached out his hand and said, in that case, I will be your mentor. And I go, awesome, uh, what's a mentor? <laughs> And then he explained to me, a mentor, somebody who coaches you on what to do, what not to do, and why to do it. And I was 19 at the time. It was May, it was actually the end of April, 1980. And uh, that was the beginning of, of my shifts. So I went from being lost, uh, low self-esteem, low self-worth, which I didn't know at the time, uh, with a limited mindset of what I could achieve doing things that I shouldn't be doing because that's what I thought I had to do to succeed and to have a little money in my pocket and feel like I belonged. And that was the beginning of, you know, my life really shifting and being on the trajectory that I've been on now for 40 years.